right now. My husband's on his way to work. He's on his way to a SWAT call out. And this is just a normal every day for us. To my colleagues on the other side of the aisle who have been calling for the defunding of our men and women in uniform, please consider joining us for an educational ride along. Florida Congresswoman Kat Kamek marking National Police Week last week with a clear message to those pushing to defund police as anti-cop sentiment continues to grip the nation. Congresswoman Kamek joins us now with more. Good morning to you. That was such a, a beautiful message um, that you gave. And it really does feel right now, Congresswoman, that the anti-cop sentiment out there is the message that's really getting the most oxygen these days. Absolutely. And good morning, Carly. Thanks for having me on. Yeah. So tell yeah, us about that speech. Uh, yeah, go ahead. It's, you know, it, it's something that has just been heartbreaking and something I never thought that I would see. You know, just before this program came on, I was kissing my husband goodbye as he went to the station. And, you know, these are these are normal everyday things that are happening with families all across America. And while we are focused on protecting our communities and making sure that our kids have an opportunity to grow up and be anything that they want to be, the left is focused on tearing down the very basic structures like public safety, like the family units. And it's it, it couldn't be a clear uh, split of where we are in America today. And so it's frustrating when I talk to my Democrat colleagues. Have you done a ride along? No. And I think that their perception of law enforcement would change dramatically if they even spent an hour in the shoes of our men and women in uniform. It's it's crazy to me that they haven't even taken that necessary step to even understand where they're coming from. Yeah, if they did take you up on that offer for a ride along, what would they learn? Well, first and foremost, I think the, the action of them strapping on a vest and really understanding that it is that one piece of equipment that is keeping them safe, the very equipment that they want to take off of the backs of our men and women by their defund police bill, I think that's a good first step. But then seeing that not every traffic stop is routine. There is no such thing as a routine traffic stop. Understanding what it's like to walk up to a car that you've just pulled over for a broken taillight or a traffic infraction that could potentially have weapons or drugs yeah. or someone that wants to do you harm. Walking up to a home where there's a domestic violence uh, situation unfolding and a man is beating his wife and his children are, are terrified. Yeah. These are the things that they deal with on a daily basis. Our is, police officers, our men right. and women in uniform. Yeah, yeah, it, they're 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 seeing people on their worst day. It is, yep, it is the reality for millions of our heroes out there. Uh, so, you know, you're sitting in the great state of Florida, and I want to get to this. There's new data from Florida that shows how many New Yorkers fled south during the COVID-19 <laughs> pandemic. You got to get to these numbers. At least uh, 33,565 people. That's a 32 percent increase from the same period the year prior. I mean, these are massive numbers. Are you worried that your state's going to run out of room? <laughs> no, no, no. We encourage people come on down to Florida. The weather is great. There's no state income tax. It's all about freedom here in the great sunshine state. But I got to tell you, if you're coming from any of those crazy blue states, leave your politics at home. The weather and everything else is just fine yeah. down here. There is concern about that, taking the politics with you as you move to red or purple states. Congresswoman, thank you so much for joining us. We appreciate it. Thank you. Have a great rest all of the day.